Eric, hi, Ken Kreitzer, SAL Radio. Congratulations. Just tell us about how competitive this game was and, and the plays your defense had to make in the fourth quarter and, and in overtime to, uh, to get a victory. It was an extremely uh, competitive game. We knew it was going to kind of be like this going into it. Um, these games are, are typically about details um, between both the teams. Uh, our, our goal is to do our assignment, do our job on every single play that we have. And of course, um, people make mistakes, but it's about which team makes the fewest mistakes. And I kind of think that's what kind of helped us get that extra edge and win today. What were you thinking about in overtime? Uh, You've got the lead, uh, and your and Air Force has got the se- the opportunity to uh, play the second half of the first overtime. What were you talking about? And just take us through the play that Jabari Moore made the uh, breakup on the uh, fourth and six. Same thing. It always comes down to the fundamentals and execution. Uh, when you get into times of stress and chaos, uh, which could be that for a, a team that's in a, a first overtime situation, haven't been in that, in that situation a very long time. Uh, we go back to fundamentals and details, everybody doing their job and being on the same page. And I think uh, that definitely showed up. Great play by Jabari. Um, but ultimately, ultimately, it was team win. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good afternoon, Eric. Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com. First of all, congratulations on a great win and a great defensive effort today. Um, you know, it looked like, uh, from my vantage point, you were doing a really good job, not only stopping runs up the middle, but really getting to the perimeter quickly and shutting down, uh, their quarterback Daniels and their pitch plays as well. Um, anything you worked on in practice this week that allowed you to diagnose those plays so quickly and get out there? Um, well, well definitely me and everybody else, uh, we know that the triple option game is a assignment focused game. Everybody has a certain phase of those triple options. And um, the focus has been practicing the footwork, uh, practicing the eyes, being able to see what you need to see and see it quick enough to get there and cut the playoff before it even becomes uh, a potential play that could get a lot of yards. Thanks. Eric, uh, Ken McMillan from the record. Um, what's it like to, you know, finally snap this uh, losing streak? What did you learn in these last three games that helped you today? Uh, we, we learned that we have to go back to the fundamentals. Um, we came in to this game acting like it's the, the beginning of the season. Once again, uh, the two weeks that we have leading, in, leading into this game, we treated like preseason camp. Um, and that really helped us focus on what we came into the season being about. And, and that's assignments, doing your job, everybody being on the same page. And I think that definitely helped and showed up today. What's this like for the seniors, you know, your last Air Force game uh, and pulling it out in such thrilling fashion? Oh, it's a great, it's a great thing. Um, definitely an emotional win. Um, again, ha- haven't been in that type of situation in the overtime uh, in a very long time on uh, me as a player. This team um, has been in that situation. So to pull it out in the end, um, it's definitely, definitely an emotional win, a uh, great win. Um, how shocked were you on that final Air Force drive of the fourth quarter when Fatah went down low on you and got the uh, illegal block below the waist call? Oh, uh, I, I wasn't shocked. Uh, I knew I knew that um, uh, that's the that's the block of choice, the, the cut. So uh, that's um, trying trying to expect that and trying to play it better. I'll, I'll try and uh, play that better in the future. Oh, what's, what was it like playing in Texas today? It was great, great, great atmosphere. Uh, definitely a switch up of. You know, this particular game all throughout my matriculation just have been uh, either at our, our place or at their place. Uh, just a definitely a great change of venue. And could you tell us about winning that Defender of the Nation Award this week? Oh, it's a great honor. It's a great honor definitely to be um, to be recognized in that way uh, in coordination with us being a, a service academy. And it kind of ties into everything that we're about uh, here at West Point as well, not just in the football sense, but uh, and the thing that we, we, we uh, represent in terms of how we represent our country, uh, it's a great award.